Happy Saturday, everybody. I'll wait till people start populating. Hello, VIP tickets. Hello, time traveler. Hello, Jennifer Lee 808. Hello, Shelly McBay. Jimenez Video Productions. Tony MTZ. Joe, Joey NYM. What's going on, guys? W. Warden, Richard H. We're in the art district today, guys. Mrs. RGB, Paranormal Lockdown. Nice to see you. Mags XO, thanks for coming out. Josh Tacey. Um, it's not going to be a really long live today. Two hours, I think. And, uh, hello, Steve D. Thought I'd do something a little bit different. We're going to do an art walk, which means we're going to walk down Creepy Alley and look at graffiti. We're going to walk around the art district. We're going to spend our two hours walking. See what we can look at. Hello, Dev V. Hello, Mags. And, um, yeah, my thumbnail. I just took that picture. This is the parking lot that was in my last video. It's now open to park in, so I'm parked here. I would show you my car, but trolls, so I'm not gonna. Those of you that know me know what I drive, and that's just the way it needs to stay. Xavier Young, how are you? Hello, Weed Man the Great. Hello, Peggy L. So uh, let's say we go look at some art, guys, some street art. Just kind of hang out and look around the art district for today. Hello, Not Your Daddy. Hello, Mo Ched, Dev V. This right here has become popular by every single YouTuber in Las Vegas. I mean, but Recycled Propaganda is a really, really amazing art gallery. And that's what it is, Recycled Propaganda. Hi, Anna's Haggis, great to see you today. Hello, Kurt K. No problem, no problem, Chris. Hello, William Creech. It's Vegas Times in the house. RJ Wertheimer, Max Smythe. Yep, Abel Baker's awesome. Hello, Roland. Oh, from JJC Clocks. Are you talking about right in here or right down? Are you the store that I did the video in a year ago? Bart Willoughby, how are you? Anyway, fear of COVID in Las Vegas. It was done by Recycled Propaganda. Then we got some of this other art down here. More like uh, Instagram type of walls, I guess. These are. I mean, this is a great Instagram picture. But hello, Tony Jazz. Hello, Keith World. Hello, Gail, South Australia. Great to see you. Brad McDonald. Brad McDaniel, thanks for coming out. Great to see you. Beliefs, ages, genders, animals, colors, religions, peoples, cultures, all sizes. Love. Exactly. And again, recycled propaganda. So they must have did, did the Welcome to the Arts District, which is pretty cool. It's in my video. This right here is Sonic Rodeo. We are hearing music come out of. Um, I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. Uh, guitarist for uh, ZZ Top. This is his recording studio. Sounds like sounds like somebody like uh, thrash metals in their, uh, uh, sounds like Guar. In there and they're recording something. Hello, Mike Metz. Hello, Bless Mommy. Hello, John Scott, great to see you. Hill House Trucking, thanks for coming out. Tony Jazz, wow, a lot of you came out for this. I didn't think, I think people were gonna be like, our district, nah, I'll wait till later. I'd rather watch something else. Either that or nobody's live streaming right now and you're forced to watch me, which I, I'll take that too. Dusty Hill, that's his name. Then you got Cork and Thorn, which I've never been into yet. I want to check that out. And Alley is a fitness center. And I'm not wearing a jacket right now because it's only 55 degrees, but it's really sunny. And this, I'm, I'm debating this decision because this alley is like a wind tunnel. But we're just going to go down a little ways and make a turn, so. But like I said, we're here to look at art. Hello, Damien Strength. Thanks for coming out today, my friend. 
lot of this was in my video. I don't remember if I filmed this one or not, though. Well, pumpkin, the pumpkin spray paint man is getting busy right there. Hello, Andrea Stack. Great to see you today, my awesome friend. Like Dale 3, thanks for coming out. Man. I'm wrangling frozen turkeys at Sprouts. <laughs> I have a 20 pound frozen turkey in my fridge right now. Defrosting. Cars in the way, I don't know what that says. There you go, bless mommy, you'll like that one. Hello, Vicky Divot. Hello, John Adams. Chino Cappuccino, thanks for coming out. Nice to see you, David Burns. I don't know what it says, but it has a Bible verse, John 3.16 right down there. done in 2022 and it was done by Gorda currently parked under a blanket cursing the current snowstorm hello Klondike bear <laughs> look what it says I, I concur 100%. I just look down and look what it says. Because <laughs> he's out here trying to spray paint. That's why he says that in 42020. That's too funny. He's out here trying to spray paint and the wind is just fucking with him. <laughs> Fuck this wind. That's funny. <sighs> Hello, Terry Robinson. Jay Pappy. Thanks for coming now. How you doing, my friend? Good, I'm watching. Oh, you're watching me? I'm watching you. <laughs> What's your name, boss? Roland, JTC Clark. Oh, Roland, that's right, that's right. I was in here filming. Yeah. Why, why'd you guys shrink the store? Um, we, uh, they raised our rent, so we- Oh, is that what you did? Can I walk through? You guys want to look at some clocks? Some really old clocks, like two, three, how much your oldest clock? Abraham Lincoln is from 1776. He has a clock in here that predates Abraham Lincoln. But I did a video in here a long time ago, guys. You really should check out that video. All right. He told me I could come in and. Oh, look at this. I don't know what that is. It's kind of weird. It's got some slot machine, or uh, slot machines, some uh, registers. That's the clock right there that predates Abraham Lincoln. Someone changed the hands on it, but that one right there on the wall. I'll go show them all. I'm going to get close to it. This clock right here predates Abraham Lincoln. Does it work? Yes. Original gears and everything in it? Everything. Everything on that clock's original, except somebody changed the hands on it. But that predates Abraham Lincoln. So the face on it, that's all original. That's why it's the dial, yep. that's why it's all Absolutely. like weathered. Yep. That is too cool. Show me some of your more uh, historic clocks while I got all these people watching. Uh, <laughs> where do I where do I begin? <laughs> What's the most? Uh, do you have what would be like the most historic clock you have, or something that was maybe a part of history, or um, in a really weird part of history? Really, I don't have anything that's. Really it's, they're just history. older, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just old clocks. Yeah. They all have a story. They yeah, but they're stuff. cool as hell, man. Yep. Who are the belts from? Are these real? These are real belts. World heavyweight wrestling champion right there. <laughs> these are all authentic. United States champion. Yeah, these are all wrestling belts. Got a Ronda Rousey belt. Ronda Rousey? 
belt. Oh, Ronda Rousey right here. Here's her UFC belt. Signed and everything. Signed by her. Got the John Cena Make-A-Wish belt above that one. And there's a John Cena Make-A-Wish belt. As you can see, we've increased our collection since you were in the Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a lot of fun making this video. Mm -hmm. We've still got some of the old items that were, that were still in here when we were here before. Yeah, that's the we got Reggie from uh, the Raiders. Reggie from the Raiders. <laughs> we got the Blues Brothers. Oh, no, I've, I've actually, in the past... And a video I filmed or just uploaded last week. I'm walking by your store filming in the window, and I even uh -huh. talk about them when I walk by. I go, oh, look, the Blues Brothers, and I've filmed in the store before. Yeah, that Elvis, he sold. <laughs> He's going to Ohio. Every single video I make, if there's an Elvis, you guys always notice that I zoom in on him? Because he's Vegas. Yep. He's going to Ohio. Right? He's Vegas, baby. He's going to Ohio. If you don't mind me asking, what did he sell for? 2700 2700 for Elvis. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, we got everything in. We got just got some more stuff and I have an unboxed. <laughs> Look, here's a kid from Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> movie props. Yeah, kid from Buffalo, New York today. Because they got snow whited in last night. Yes, they did. Hello, Paula Tenney. Mom food plant things. This is me before coffee. <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. He looks fun, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. These must be, these must be Krampus's uh, buddies. I'm not sure where they came from. He's got a Christmas present. It looks like he'd be with Krampus. Yeah. This is me after coffee. <laughs> Quentin Harrison, how are you? Got a photograph. How's it going, my friend? I see you back there. How are you? Great to see you, though. Penguin. Oh yeah, big penguin. <laughs> so guys, definitely come down and check out it's J and J clocks, right? J J C clocks. If you're in the art district, you guys got to come in and at least look around. Because this place is really cool. And one of the places that was really, really open to me filming and showing their merch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're always welcome in here. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Back out into the alley. He's like, yeah. get out of here. Beat it, kid. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. All right. Good to see you. Take care of yourself. All right. All right. I'm back out into the, back out into the air. Okay, so we're on the back side of Nightmare Toys. Hello, Big P. Do they fix watches? I'm sure they do. I, you know, I didn't ask that. I didn't think. Hello, hello, Irving Johnson. They're all about clocks, so I'd imagine, yeah, they do all that stuff. There's just art everywhere out here. Hello, Steve L. Good afternoon to you. Some really talented people in this world doing this stuff with spray paint cans. I know they got special tips and everything because my buddy's a, a street artist. And he shows me the things that they use. They don't just use... I mean, I guess in a pinch they would just use what the can tip is, but... They all have special tips that do different sprays and widths, things like that. No, I'm nowhere near the Chunk Mural. That's down by Fremont Street. I'm not near Fremont Street. And the English Hotel, I saw somebody ask when I was in the, when I was in the uh, store, 
is down a little farther than I'm gonna walk today because that would like kill me. It's probably a mile down the road. And this is that black sheep one. <clears throat> it takes a ton of talent. <sighs> Looks like somebody's doing some tile work. Their wet tile saw out here. Oh no, that's a they're cutting wood with that. That's not a tile saw. That's just a regular old table saw. There's a rhino. Raul Canelo, go back again where? Hello, Candy E. <coughs> Hello, Treatin 62 great to see you today. This, this art gallery right here, Conrad West. I would go in there on this live stream, but I don't have enough time for as much as they're going to talk my ear off while I'm in there. So it's 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 my second favorite art gallery down here. <coughs> now there were some aliens I wanted to show you guys, so maybe. Maybe we'll walk down the creepy alley of death. It's not really creepy. It's daylight. It's just the back of it. Now at nighttime walking down here by yourself might be kinda might be kinda sketchy. Well this is just the, the back alley to all the businesses that are our district for deliveries and things like that. So most people don't come back here. Some people do, because there's a lot of really, really cool art back here. So we come back and look at things. People like us, who live on the edge. And it looks to me like we're adding a restaurant or something here. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, so. Let me show you. This is plumbing, obviously. Okay, so. That one's a clean out. That one's a toilet. That one's a toilet. <laughs> and then the rest, I'm looking for P-traps. I, I can't know. So I'm looking for P-traps to see if there are going to be floor sinks in here. It's going to be a restaurant or just bathrooms because obviously that section of plumbing right there is the restrooms and there is uh one two or three toilets and probably a urinal so you got two toilets in the women's room then you got a toilet and a urinal in the men's room and then you got a wall that shares the lavvies which are the the sinks for the bathroom and then whatever's over here it's going to be uh something to do with a small kitchen area and that's just 35 years of experience right there. That's all that is. Just looking at plumbing. Uh, I'm behind Main Street. I'm right, I'm between um, Commerce and Main. 
in the alley. Which was probably dumb of me to even say that, but that's where I am. But I won't be here for long. We were only five away from hitting uh, 16,700. Maybe this little live stream will help us get to that. I doubt it. I don't usually gain subs when I, I'm doing live streams off of Fremont Street. But last night we gained back the 30 that I lost over the week, plus 20 more. So 50 new subs last night's live stream. Hello, how you doing, Rockbreaker Jim? Hello, Candy E. Cops and Roberts, what's up? No, I have not eaten at Rebar yet. I've been wanting to though. Hello, Belinda Bitzer. How you doing, my friend? And that right there is Casa Don Juan. Rockbreaker Jim gift a bunch of memberships again. Once upon a time I had my old stickers over here, but they're they have since been ripped off and stickered over. But I still look to see if Joe or anybody got their stickers still here. I don't see them anymore. Rockbreaker Jim, you totally rock, my friend. Thank you so much for gifting memberships today. I really appreciate you. Joe had a sticker here, I believe. I don't know if I'm in the right alley or not. I thought he did, but it was a long time ago. Because I haven't walked down here in a while. I usually drive my car through here. And then I'll hop out and take a picture with my phone and then post it on Instagram. Hello, Seeking Vegas Sunrise. Appreciate you coming out. That's a new piece of artwork right there that I haven't seen yet. Yes, there's a lot of antique stores down here, Chino Cappuccino, and a lot of restaurants, and a lot of bars, and tattoo parlors. I'm gonna walk down uh, and show you all that stuff after we, we're gonna make one quick detour and look at something, then I'm gonna go Look, here's another one. And then I'm gonna go down and show you all the shops and everything. That's dope. Whatever that says, that is cool. Given grace. It says, grace, that's what it says. G, G, R, A, C, E. And right down there, it says given grace. How talented these people are. It just amazes me. Jason in Michigan, how are you today? Hello, John Aquavelva. Hello, Ron R. Hello, Kay Morris. How is your chakra, or whatever that is? <laughs> I 
I've seen lots of nice tattoos on females. <laughs> Matter of fact, tattooed females are kind of hot. I have no clue what that says. None whatsoever. I just know it's uh, it's dope. It's uh, painted on a wooden fence, so they had to have come out here and rolled on some uh, something to stop the paint from soaking in before they even started, or that would have been a pain in the ass. They would have soaked up so many spray paint cans. This right here across the street is artistic iron. Look at some of the stuff they make when I get over here. It's a good thing it's only a one way street because I am straight up jaywalking. Hello, sweet guy Alexi. Hello, Augie. Look at this brontosaurus. <laughs> It's all made out of iron. Just, I don't know if you can see me or not, but there's, there's a T-Rex or something like that. There's a brontosaurus behind me. <laughs> but, you know what happens. Everywhere I go, I mean like, everywhere I go. Aliens. That is so cool. <laughs> you can have your very own spaceships in your front yard. Look, he's climbing up in. That is way cool. Oh, I'd love to do a video here of these guys making this stuff. I imagine they light up too because they got power cords and stuff coming out of them. There's a little mini UFO. Look, there's an alien there. And there's another alien. Isn't that cool? The spaceships are my favorite. Hello, Willie Franklin. Hello, Hidden Jackpots. Oh, this one's kind of gory. I'm liking this. Check this out. There's a dinosaur with another dinosaur in its mouth. <laughs> Raw. Raw. He's got one on his back. He's Tyrannosaurus Rex. And he has a Velociraptor in his mouth. That's crazy. I'm not hungry. No thanks, I'm not hungry. And then this has been here for a long time. It's the, uh, like the, uh, the stagecoach and the horses. All of this is made out of steel, guys. 
It's all welded, pop welded. Very cool. Then another dinosaur. Then they got like little flowers and stuff you can get. Pretty cool, right? You can check them out online, artisticiron.com. I'm sure they have an Instagram page too. Maybe I should, uh, there's a horse and a jockey right there. Maybe I should message them and see if they'll let me do a video of them and they're actually creating one of these. Hello, Ray Riggleman. Hello, Bob Martin. Hello, Eugene Phillips. How are you today? Let's get across the street before I get squished. All these cars are coming right over there. Looks like the start of NASCAR right there. Just waiting for the green flag to drop. And Mark is squished. Hello, Geo Max. I'm having a fun day. I'm hanging out with you guys, walking around the art district. I'm trying to get 10 new subscribers so we can get to 16,700. I say 10 because I always lose five or six at the end of a stream. So maybe 15 new subscribers. Hello, RV Davy. How are you? Tracy Ellison, thanks for coming out. Hello, Diane Eichler. Great to see you today. Yeah, boogity, 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 let's go racing. Oh man, I remember going to all those races. And then when Dale died, it just wasn't any fun anymore. Well, NASCAR changed it too much. Once they got rid of bump drafting, it was just a bunch of spoiled rich kids driving in circles. <laughs> it wasn't any fun anymore. There's a boxing gym right here. It's the back side of it. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Another recycled propaganda art piece. I think we're gonna cop a squat for two minutes oh hell no I thought you were on Fremont man you walked all the way down here oh I didn't know that. I thought you were staying on Fremont I was watching you for a while yeah but I only have two hours so I was just gonna I was just doing a quick one not right now uh -uh. no uh, what time is it by the way it is I'm, I'm good I'm good I have until three that's what I paid for with my car. <laughs> and then I gotta run. Nah, I'm just walking around down here. I'm not really going anywhere. You can tag along or you can go do your thing. Too. Well, go eat, man. It was good to see you. What? Fist bump? Oh, hands are all, hands are all weird. Sleepless in Las Vegas, guys. You always all know who Ted is. I purposely stayed away from there because that's where you were. <laughs> I was doing that in here today and then strip tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm doing, a, I believe I'm doing Donut Bar early tomorrow morning and then the early Sunday fun day walk around Fremont downtown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you're out today, man. You usually don't come out the day after you stream Fremont. Uh, you're going you're gonna to start seeing a lot more of this. Okay. Now, I'm not just live streaming, but a lot more of me out during the week after work doing things like this. Come around. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the channel up. So let's get this guy to three thousand. Three thousand. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this guy to a thousand. All right, we got some food. I gotta be. Take it easy, bro. Hey, man. Be safe. Ah, oh, kids took my seat. That's where I was gonna sit for a minute.
This is uh, eight ball bell bonds. It used to be something different. Hmm. Hmm. They changed it. I'd go in here, but there's too much music. But I love recycle. That's recycle propaganda right there. So all the art I've shown you comes from the man who owns this store. Oh, you've seen it in all my videos of over the art district. That is Makers and Finders. I have not had a good experience there in a long time. I used to love them. But the past three times I've gone there, it's been bad. I don't know what's going on anymore. What's going on in the world? Hello, Julio Her. Ted, he's running in front of me. I think he's probably going to Good Pie. Oh no, he's going to Casa Don Juan. Hello, Mike S. Good afternoon to you. Oh, there ain't nobody coming. I said there ain't nobody coming. It changes to a walk sign. <laughs> Charles Jimenez Drunken Slots. Hello. Hi, Mark. That place has some good food. Love it. Uh, it's not bad. There's way better Mexican restaurants than Casa Don Juan's. This is Nick's favorite Mexican restaurant. It is not mine. But in a pinch, it'll do. But uh, the vibe in here is really good. The ambience is cool. The service is usually stellar when I go in there. So it's worth it. Yeah, I'm feeling way better. I just have the residual shit. That's why you guys keep hearing me cough. Just cleaning out what's what was left in there from last week. No light yields for the Godfather. <laughs> Mosquitoes won't bite him purely out of respect. <laughs> Those most interesting man in the world commercials crack me up. <sighs> He is the life of parties he's never been to. <laughs> and of course, I wouldn't mind grabbing a slice, but it'll have to be for later or something. I'm not gonna do it right now. So then right over here, you got funny story about that place. I'll have to tell you guys someday. It's not something that I should probably speak about on. <laughs> Davies is a bar. They got bar food. Um, Coolsville Tattoos has a $10 tattoo. There's rebar. I've done a, I've done a video on Vintage Vegas. Uh, cool, cool antique store. I have not been to the Velveteen Rabbit yet. And then of course, this guy here is the same artist that did, I believe did all the art over by the English Hotel. Oh, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah, the English is a little ways down. Main Street, DTLV, and over there it says Community. And the artist that does this everywhere is called Pretty Done. So you can follow him on Instagram right there at Pretty Done. Let's eat. He has it's all the same stuff and drink written right in front of the English Hotel. So basically, this is a copy, which is cool though, because it's like everywhere now. 
I see it in buildings, on buildings, around buildings. Hello, Kathleen Lopez. I'm thinking the Davies place. If I sat outside, maybe I could get a drink and uh, maybe a snack, like an like a like a uh, what's it called? Appetizer. Never had anything from over there. Fresh Epic Food, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you for coming out. WGWCO's in the house. Hello, Steve L. I'll be in Vegas for a week in June. I'm definitely checking this. Oh yeah, you'll have a blast down here. There's a lot to look at. There's a lot to do. I'm wondering <laughs> and I wouldn't mind sitting over there and having a drink. Let me figure it out. I don't even know if I brought any damn money with me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I just don't know if I want to do it. I'll think about it. Tony Sweet just subbed. Hi, Mark. I usually watch Manny. Watch Manny, so that means you can't watch me? <laughs> What's up? <coughs> What's up, Tony? Thank you so much for the $2 super chat, my friend. You totally rock. Appreciate you subscribing. Really, you, you totally rock, my friend. Thank you. Oh, Mark almost tripped and fell on his head. Okay, Atomic Styling right there is for, uh, it's a barbershop or a hair salon. I love the little 8-bit advertisement they got right there, for like something out of Mario Brothers. Snacks on you. <laughs> How's it going, Andrew Snack? You totally rock for the $20 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm all right. My legs don't hurt. I mean, they're sore, but they don't hurt. But you're right. I'm going to be doing a... I plan to do a morning walk tomorrow. Oh, Tony, I was just teasing you. You totally rock, my friend. You don't have to... You guys don't have to give me super chats. You really don't. I mean, I'd rather get the thumbs up because that'll help me grow the channel and I'll make money off of YouTube ads. Not off my subscribers. I never I never planned on that, but anyway, you totally rock. Thank you again for another $2 super chat. I really, really appreciate you. And thank you again so much for subscribing. You guys let me know if we actually make it to uh, 16,700. Because we were five away this morning when I got her. We're actually only four away, but like I said, you lose. I was only three away last night and then all the trolls that wait the five minutes or whatever so they can chat, they all unsub after every, uh, th there's at least three to five that unsub after every live stream or people that just don't want notifications. They'll sub and wait so they can chat and then after the live stream, they'll unsub.
when they can just like turn off. Oh, thank you, Steve D. Right on, guys. Thank you so much. Another milestone reached today because of you guys. It happened, Steve L. Hey, Tony Sweet. Thank you. DH, aloha to you. Great Dane mommy coaches where? Rhonda Sahoy. Looks like an awesome day for yes it is. It's a very awesome day. Thank you for coming out. In the twet in the Tesla coming. That's funny. Is he gonna pick me up? I forgot all about that. I gotta talk to him about that. We're supposed to do a test or a video about that whole Tesla thing he's got going on over at the hotel. Gene Yukawa, how are you? Great to see you. Yes, yes. My jaw still hurts from last time, buddy, so. <laughs> Can I get in? Can I get in? Yeah, come on. Oh, hell no. <laughs> All right, guys, you all wanted to see it. Here we are. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, I've never been in a Tesla. No? Nope. Oh, you're going to love it. Here we go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Are you buckled in? You got to buckle in. Oh, okay, can you hold that for a second? For you. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark. I'm the other me. My name is Theo Therm on the uh, gaming channels. <laughs> Theo Therm. Theo Therm. <laughs> How do you zoom in? Oh, yeah, that's your yeah. channel. I can't do that. Tell All right, guys. Whippity doo dah, whippity my wonderful day. You all know who Coach is. Greetings. Coach Casher Crash. Is that what you're live streaming on today, Casher Crash? Yes. No, Private Eye. Oh, Private Eye. We're on Private Eye today. Yes, Las Vegas Private Eye. So now, unbeknownst to me, my John has picked me up and we're headed back to the hotel room. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, pretty woman? <laughs> I couldn't walk straight for a week last time. Let's not get into that shit again. <laughs> oh, this is fun, huh? So where are we headed oh to? Oh, my God. Yep. So I'm crossing right in front of the road there. Coach almost killed somebody. Uh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Damn. All right, so this is the Arts District. Have you ever been here? No, no never. No, it's great. Never this seen is, it. Uh, this is a burned out building. This is fantastic. They call it the tree house or the whatever. Oh, they're in there filming a video, a music yeah, video or music something. Music video. They're going to do like a skateboard thing. Oh. Uh, this is the greatest hotel in the history of the world. It's called the English Hotel. There's the English guys. Yeah. Never been there. Uh, been meaning to check it out. Brewery. Got to check that place out. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. They brew their own stuff right there. And I uh, got your thing and your stuff and the other people. Look at everything here. I have no clue where we're headed. I, coach just picked me up and off we go. Uh, I'm going to actually have you watch the car for a moment while I go pee in an alleyway. Is that cool? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, always, the it's, a, Hotel. it's always a surprise. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a surprise when Coach picks me up. I need some air, though. You do need some air. Okay. You no, do. you're fine. You I do you. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you need. Because I was just walking and I'm fat. Yeah, and, no you know, problem. It catches up to you quick. What? This is the, uh, that's a tall building over there. We, we're trying to identify that building. It's uh, not on any maps. Okay. So if you ever, if you know what that is, let us know. I have no clue. I know we, we still haven't found the Strat. I know that. No, no, Since no, no, the no. last time I was with you, we hadn't found Thank you. Order. I know. We just, it's like an APB and this everything. Phantom building that people keep talking about. That's right. This is the Pepper Club here by Todd English. Fantastic food. Great times. This is Halo.car. This is the company that will drone drive the car to you. Oh, really? For your rental. Then you drive it. And then when you're done, you just drop it like at your hotel or whatever. And then they drone drive it back to the lot. Remember, I wanted to do a video off yeah. this, this yeah, thing. Yeah, coming soon. Yep. yep, that's them. They've opened up. They had their launch party. 
So I'm gonna, I need to do this really bad because I drove all the way to Arizona and back without really a break here. Is that all right, cool? go ahead, yeah. Be all right. I'm gonna yeah. leave my people with you. All right. And you guys keep an eye on Mark for me here. Let me put you like that, so there you go. Now they're gonna watch you. Now his people are watching us. We're gonna watch you, watch we're them. making watch sure you. we don't steal the, the car. Or the lottery ticket. Or the lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Bar Enriquez? Hello, everybody on the Private Eye channel. Nice to see you all. So, um, coach is, he's in the, he's in the English hotel shaking hands with the governor and then, uh, uh and then we're going to go, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting any of this. I was going to walk the arts district and then somebody said, coach is coming. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Woo. It's 55 degrees out and I'm sweating. Hello, broken down old man. Let's see who's all over here. Broken down old man saying hello. Ex Dingan Gambler, you rock. Andy P, nice to see you. Mark, go for a spin. Yeah, I'm sure Coach would love that. Man against the masses, how are you? Hey, Mark, my daughter's in town for Illinois. All right, on. Well, I'm going to be back on Fremont tomorrow at some point, so uh, if she's down and around, have her come say hello. Man against the masses. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Hello, and the two become one flesh. Hello, Mike W. Like I said, coach is in the English shaking hands with the governor. I love this view coach has. I look like a ginormous whale in coach's view. Look. Arlene D, how are you? Thanks for coming out. Well, it's usually anytime I'm hanging out with a coach, it's fun. Anytime I've hung out with a coach, we've had a blast. Only problem is I only have until, only have an hour. So. Because that's when my, uh, that's when my uh, parking expires and I got I got other things I got to do today. Hello, E Phoenix. Good to see you today. Peter Faulkner with a one dollar super sticker or super chat. You rock, Peter. Thank you so much. I saw a chat go by in Coach's stream, and I was trying to get it, but I missed it. Hello, Tilly T. So you just got in from town? Yeah, I just drove all the way down to Arizona. Oh, yeah, you didn't have to stop and get oh, me or other. So we have uh, some snacks here. We have the hickory sticks from Canada. This is the uh, salt and vinegar. Thank you, Tim, to Canadian and family. Oh, wow. Okay, then a uh, bottle of water for you, sir. Oh, you're awesome. Okay, and then uh, pocket pickle. Oh, yeah, I love these. You gotta have a pocket. Oh, table, yeah, I love and these. And they're either for eating or giving away. Mm -hmm. And then we want to promote Nelson, who is one of our chief, our engineers here at the hotel, Nelson Mullet. He actually has a show, art show coming up on December 2nd through the 10th here at the English Hotel. So he works here. He's an artist. He's spectacular. You can check it out at nelsonmulletart.com. Yes, guys, definitely, definitely check out nelsonmulletart.com or at nelsonmullet art on Instagram and he have a, he has an art show coming down here and he works in English so yep. let's definitely support other artists in Vegas that's right many of our employees at the English Hotel are artists musicians whatever uh, they were hired that way on purpose and we do definitely want to support them so all right hold on one second here I have exactly ah. one hour one hour okay yep. one hour what can we do in an hour oh I don't hmm. know all right hold on one second here yeah, actually the question is what can't trouble can't we get into in an hour <laughs> <laughs> oh What's up, Danny 04? Oh no. What Hold happened? <laughs> he lost his live stream. No, no, I, well, that, let him know I've got to sign back into the car. No! You're right. Oh, water everywhere. No, it's mostly you got all me over moist. me. You got me moist. Yes, I have coach moist. That's exactly what we need right now a moist <laughs> coach. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this works. Ugh. I needed the water. Thanks, man. You got it. Uh, Look at this thing. 
Sign in. Hopefully that worked. All right, there we go. All right, we're back. So you have to push the button to get it going again. Oh, there you go. Okay, uh, are you ready to end? No, I don't want to end my booking. This is the rental Teslas that you can get right over here. There we go. Get y'all back. Yeah, they were fairly inexpensive when you yeah. were telling me. I was like, wow, I just come down so and do a bit just to make a video. One hour, make it count, Rudy. Thank you, Tilly T. <laughs> All right, here we go. They're saying to make it count. <laughs> make it count. Now, now you're scaring me. All right, so the Teslas, the rental Teslas, right over here, $35 for an hour up to, I'm doing the 195 24-hour rental. It includes taxes. You don't have to fill it up with gas, all that, and your uh, insurance and all that. So Yeah, make sure you guys return the Tesla with a full tank. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you turn this down. It's like Alamo, rent a car. One ninety five for twenty four hours for yeah. a Tesla. Yeah. That is a smoking deal. Yeah, it's fantastic. And you don't have to fill it up, and you don't have to drop it off at a place and do things with it and all that. Well, Just in and out. So we're gonna we're gonna check out Vegas. Have you been to Vegas before, sir? No, I've, this is my first time. Just... Welcome to Loon Tours. I'm your host. My name is Coach. Coach. Yeah. And uh, what I'm gonna do is show you some of the spots in Vegas that most people never get to. Yes. I'm Theotherm. So nice this to meet you, Coach. Theotherm. Nice to yeah. meet you. I noticed you're on your manifest that uh, that uh, you want to uh, see some alleyways. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's always good to see alleyways. Yeah. Uh, just me, MK, is from Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome. You guys are getting some snow up there in Kansas. I'm happy to see you, steve <laughs> Hello. He says, is that a pocket pickle or are you happy to see me? <laughs> Hi, Melba. How are you? As a matter of, matter of fact, if we see somebody out here that's homeless, they're going to get a pocket that's pickle right. for free. Hand out the pocket pickles. It's a way to help them out. And then, snack and it's good for them. And then he has some uh, Mass and Gill flavored things in the back. Oh. What are those? <laughs> Salt and vinegar or whatever they are? <laughs> Petridge Fobs. <or> yeah. <laughs> what do we got going on here? I don't like anything vinegar flavored. Oh, we got costumes and stuff. Oh, we do have costumes. This What's is great. Here? I like costumes and stuff. <laughs> there we go. What's going on here? Is, is it some kind of a Ren Faire or something? Uh, I don't know. Is that Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. It's, uh, maybe they're getting married. And that was their themed wedding. This could be one of those 1990s flash mob dance things. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. Or was that 2009? Got a lot yeah. of stuff going on here. That's the city hall. I think they're yeah. getting married. Oh, more here. We got oh, more here. We got to ask Tilly T, be afraid, Mark. Be very afraid. <laughs> it is Mad Hatter stuff, so. It's Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Is it a theme thing? What's going on? Cool. I want to know. Got so do more I. more coming from over here. Yeah, guys, is anybody you know of an event today in town? A dress-up wow. event or anything? This is really cool. Because I know nothing about it. Pull here for just a second. No parking except for police vehicles or alleged private eyes. Alleged. Is it the bus station? Or is, it a, is it an Alice in Wonderland walk? <laughs> I've heard so much about those. Is there an Alice in Wonderland walk in Vegas? I don't know. You can definitely go down the rabbit hole in Las Vegas. I know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <All right. coughs> Fantastic. A little bonus there. Wasn't it's in, uh, it's 60 degrees according to Coach's uh, computer screen on his, it's like 30 inch screen in here. Here we go. Watch, uh, there we go. Watch back and forward. And all yeah, that. we can see everything that's going more on. Coming up here. There we go. There's more. Can you guys tell us what event is going on? Uh, oh, it's a scavenger hunt. Right on. Fantastic. What do we win? <laughs> oh, it is rude. I'm is so it? sorry. We're so rude. Oh, that's you. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay, so it's a scavenger hunt. It's a great movie, by the way. Scavenger hunt. Yep. I don't know if I've seen... Oh, yeah, that's the one with uh, John Cleese and... Oh, no, that's a different movie. Yeah, no, that's the one with uh, Avery Shriver and uh, all the actors from the late 70s yeah. and the ostriches and the whole thing. Yeah, it's fantastic. How many scavengers do they need to find? <laughs> 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 There's an overwhelming number of them. <laughs> uh, Jimenez Video Productions, we are headed this way. I don't know where we're headed. We're going to... We're going to be the people that drive through uh, the Fremont Street experience and uh, don't we honk and we uh, yeah. point at people. I think that's what we need to do here. Uh, pick a lane, any lane, brah. 
Yeah, this bus is like right in the middle of the street. There you go, Andy P. The scavenger hunter looking for the strat. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Who'd I miss? Uh, Real Braun, member for three months, sister in private eye. Me to this. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, zoom, boom. The Mighty Bull is in the room with a $5 super chat. You rock, Mighty Bull. Thank oh, you. Mighty Bull. Mighty Bull on Facebook, too. Check oh, yeah. Out. He's got definitely, definitely check out the Mighty Bull's Facebook group yeah. and his page. I think he has a page, too. Um, if any of the mods know his links, go ahead and post it, please. I would appreciate that. On both channels. Is this that Fremont place everybody's talking about? I've heard of it. Uh, we're going to check it out and see. Bring, it's bring your own doggy day. I in see a that in a costume. Oh, I wonder if they're part of the deal. No, I don't think so. No, it's just dogs. Okay. Uh, cool. All right, we... the light is green, so I get to be the honker. Should I? I don't know. That's up to you. You're driving. Hey, don't worry about the red light. We'll just stop for you guys. <laughs> it's all about you. Welcome to Vegas, <laughs> jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, jerky. <laughs> oh, Linda Ramsey. <laughs> you remember the jerky boys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They call me rubberneck. <laughs> Hanging with Mark. The other me and Theo through here. All three of us are in the car. Yes. <laughs> You got like five personalities, so I don't even know. Yeah. You got the private eye, you got the loon room, you got cash or crash. So who are you, Cash or Crash? Oh, I saw this. I this I saw this. I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> That's too well, funny. You get around here and then we'll uh, fire up the bull. Does he talk? Uh, sure. There I'm you a, go, the mighty bull. I'm I found a, the bull. I'm a ventriloquist. I gotta see if I, I gotta flip uh, around so I can make. Come on, buddy. There he is, T Bone. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> yeah, T Bone here. Uh, Hanging out in the Tesla with the other me. What's up, buddy? Uh, uh, that's right. Check out my channel. It's called T-Bone Stories here on YouTube. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. You have a channel, T-Bone? Yeah, YouTube. It's called T-Bone Stories. Is, is, this is like nine channels now. <laughs> All right. That's too good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jessica girl. How are you? Thank you so much. Has Tebow been neutered? No. He's no, he's been he, neutered. He studs on the weekend. I'm going to grab the bull by the horns. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go make that money somehow. Hello, sweet T. So awesome to see you today, my awesome friend. Appreciate you coming out. This was completely unexpected today. I was just walking to Arts District, and lo and behold, there's Coach. <laughs> You ever been to Fremont Street East? Nope. No, let me no, show you what no, it's no. like uh, here on Loon Tours. We're, we're doing Loon Tours today, guys. So Loon Tours, eventually I'm trying to get it onto TripAdvisor. I want it to be the number one attraction in Las Vegas legitimately. And it, whether you're actually in the car or watch it online or whatever, it's a legitimate tour of Las Vegas, and that's my goal. It's a legitimate tour the way that we would show people a tour. That's right. Like hiding in the back alley behind Evil Pie, and that's yeah. the best way to yeah. do it. They do the flaming thing here during the daytime, do they? No. Uh -uh. Yeah. The Mighty Bull says a dollar ninety nine for T Bone. <laughs> T Bone. Thank you. Thank you, you very much. You rock the Mighty Bull. You're too funny. <laughs> Irving Johnson. Real Brown. Oh, he's talking to Real Brown. Oh, okay, cool. Alphabet, how you doing? Go ahead, bro. No, you go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. After you. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's after you. No, just stay there then. It's all good. Hey, do you know which way it is to the strip? We're trying to find the strip. That way? All right, thank you, bro. <laughs> Hello, Les Bildenberg. Scott Longwitz, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bail money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with the bail money jokes already. <laughs> Hashtag strip club. <laughs> Come on, man. I, 
We're gonna head this way. Hello, the analog kid. Best part about the Tesla's got a good ooh, get, get up and go there. That's <laughs> you don't have to fill her up. We still have uh, 84 miles left. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Started with 265. Burned up that many going in and out of uh, Arizona. Rob Ashley Music, how you doing today? So, um, is the is the what's it called? Is the Lincoln down, or you just wanted oh, no. to have a? I just uh, anything like this. I like to take the Tesla out and show people how awesome it is, and it's a smooth drive, an easy drive. This one gets maxed out at 92 miles an hour, yeah. so you can't exceed that, which is for safety. Uh, not that 92 is a speed limit anywhere. And if you get close, it starts beeping at you, and it's got all kinds of safety features, and it's just fun to drive, because I'll never buy one. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want to do for uh, <laughs> family or ever for work or anything. But uh, Tony Sweet, you need to go back and watch, before you say that coach is crazier than me, and he is, <laughs> but you need to go back and watch the very first live stream, the very first live stream we did together before you say coach is crazier than me. I'm still laughing and, uh, about the uh, drive -thru. And make sure you watch the drive through <laughs> very closely, <laughs> and then come back and tell me coach is crazier than me. <laughs> My vote's for Mark. <laughs> Two dollars, Tony Sweet. You totally rock. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll give Coach. He, what Coach is great for. Coach is funnier shit, and, but he catches me off guard. So I'm like looking around trying to see what I want to talk about next. He's already got it coming. So that's where it, he's funnier than shit. Oh my goodness. So last night I was at Goodwill with Mikey Bags of Money and uh, did a whole dress up in a catwalk and a reindeer outfit and it was a fun night. So, oh, cool. Yeah. So they want us to get a bunch of reindeer outfits and get you in the Santa outfit. I heard. And, and do the whole thing. So, I heard, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want, I want so you guys going to pull me or something? Uh, I've got to figure out how to do all that. You know what? We need to do that on, yeah. on Fremont Street somehow. Yep. Yep. We and we can do, do like Fremont imaginary Street. sleighs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just uh, just like a wheelchair and, and make it look like... Yeah, uh, like make, choreography and the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. And then put stuff on it and make it look like a sleigh. I think that'd be huge. Oh my God, that'd be hysterical. Yes, exactly. But let's don't tell mm. them because then it'll be a surprise. Yeah, yeah. Members. It'll just happen eventually, okay. maybe. Good idea. Possibly. Yeah. You know. Allegedly. Yes, there you go. Allegedly. Timo can pull this sleigh. <laughs> This is uh, this is Rogue Toys, the end store right there, the blue one. During the pandemic, they had uh, the front of the building had the don't open dead inside from uh, Walking Dead on the front of it. This is the gold and silver pawn shop. Yep. Let's see. Hey, do they got any dinosaur poo in there? I'm looking for some hip prehistoric poo. They do have prehistoric poo. I'm they sure got, they do. They do. It's like sixty five hundred dollars. How much really? is your poo? <laughs> Sorry, you can't ask that over on Tropicana. You get a whole different answer. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> They'll just hand you poo. <laughs> That's complimentary, my friend. <laughs> Explore AA. How are you? Thanks for coming out. You two should start a channel together. Call it Other Me and E. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a collaboration channel. That'd be funny. Well, how do you start a second channel? How does that work? Yeah, right? How do you start? How do you start a ninth channel? <laughs> Nine that you know of. Yeah. That I know of. Yeah. Got Zeus's Kitchen now. That's for the, a lot of cooking and stuff coming up, and especially on Thanksgiving. Who is Zeus? Zeus is a uh, pit bull. Oh, okay. And so in 2020, when I first started the channel, it was Thanksgiving of 2020. I'd been on YouTube for three weeks. Yeah. And we started doing some cooking stuff, trying to find my way around the YouTube universe. And we did Zeus's Kitchen. There's some Thanksgiving stuff and some home cooking things. And we've revived it now. It's got like 150, uh, or no, I'm sorry, uh, 65 subscribers, I think, already. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right so on. It, uh, for Thanksgiving with my daughter and the family and all, all the different cooking tips and how to how to eat it, how to graze in a grocery store and not pay for anything. No, that's theft. That's all different show. <laughs> Hey, Al Baker, thanks for coming out. Chum Lee is probably at a party somewhere. Yeah, cell phone If tower. I know Chum Lee. Chum Lee. Yeah. These are some great hotels and motels, too. Um, my friend that came from England stayed in this hostel right here. This yeah. is where I picked him up, yeah. Oh, the hostel cat? Uh, so, in yeah. the first Hangover movie, this mm -hmm. is what they dressed up as the, the wedding chapel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he stayed here. Yeah. And then I picked him up one morning, and we went out to the Wheel of Misfortune, and we shot a video. Yeah. And uh, you guys remember exploring with Brady, but this is the hostel he stayed in right here. 
See, basically, it's a room with a bunch of beds in it. We're lost. Huh? We're lost. Do you guys know which way it is the strip? <laughs> we're not from here. That's yeah. a good question. We're from Do you know where the stratosphere is? We're, I've been looking for it all from? freaking day. Alabama? Oh, yeah. Alabama? Alabama? Which football team you guys like? I didn't have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> We're not from here. You don't have to be from here. Hello, it's the most Joanne. Famous address in the world. <laughs> oh, I snorted. Sorry. Too funny. Dancers wanted. Oh, dude. Oh, should we? Should we like should we audition? Apply over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just. Saying. I think I said that last time. I said we could be like. Uh, uh, we could do the whole skit from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the <yeah>. Chippendales. <laughs> oh, he's so you, You'll be Chris Farley and <laughs> I'll be, uh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. After you. So they just sold this place. The Little White Chapel? Yeah, the lady that's owned it for like 40 years just sold it. Oh, wow. Yeah. We don't really do news here. It'll never last. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this thing's got some put you back in your seat acceleration. Oh, yeah. It's uh, very Disneylandish. I should go apply. You should go apply. <laughs> yes, I'll go in there with a leather thong on. Oh, <laughs> and I'm already some, uh, chafing just and some about jingle that. bells. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, where'd you get those tassels? <laughs> truck snow chains. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Miss Manda. Great to see you today. Oh, uh, shall runner stop? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop now. Yeah, safety first. Oh man! Have you been at the Guadalajara place right there? I have not. Uh, to me, it looks like it would be delicious, and the, the the metal pools to keep it safe adds flavor to it. That place right there, ba, uh, however you say that, Bajamar, Bahamar, Bahamamar, Bahamamar. Yeah. That place is like um, it's it's like world famous. It's, okay. it's supposed to be super super good. And how about the uh, the prime ribs we had the other day? That's sweet. Oh my god, those weren't so, prime ribs. Those were steaks. What were they? Yeah, they were. Uh, uh, oh, not prime rib, but uh, ribeyes. Ribeyes, yeah. yeah. Spectacular, and thank you to our hosts. That was spectacular. Oh, yeah. Um, Diane, Diane Eichler and her, and her awesome husband took us yeah. out to Jackson's a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Coach and I, and uh, we had I wish steak. we could have filmed that interaction, the four of us. Gold. Enjoyed it very much. Gene Yukawa for five months since my last, since December 7th to the 10th. Got us sorted. Uh, color for doors for you, too. <laughs> Gene Yukawa with the $50 super chat. Dang. Wow, Thank Gene. You. Thank you so very much. You're so amazing. I really, really appreciate you. You totally rock, my friend. How many you got? I have. Wait, hold on. Uh, about 40 minutes. 40 minutes, all right, yep. cool. And we're now breakneck speed on the Las Vegas Strip. Well, we're not really to the strip yet, but we're close. Things, couple things we got to do first. Couple things we got to do first. Yeah. I always love when you do this stuff. <laughs> I never know what to expect. Are we gonna go fuck with the valet people? <laughs> you, know, you know where the stratosphere is? We're trying to find the stratosphere. This is it. Oh, cool. Thank you. So, apparently, guys, I don't see the word stratosphere anywhere. I, I just either. see this word strat. Strat. Like straddle. Yeah. Yeah. Hell. Okay, I don't believe him. Yeah, no. It's not. I don't. Yeah. I think that's disinformation. I think he was messing with us. <laughs> Look, they're in a Tesla. They don't know shit. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> they probably saw you pull in the Tesla and pull out like that titled prick. So if you're ever hungry, if you're ever hungry, oh, this is the special. There's a special. There we go. It's the turkey sandwich for four ninety nine. You get the combo with fries and a soda for just six ninety nine. That's not bad. That's right. And if you yep. you always wonder where the cones stay in town when they're not working on the highways. Oh, when the cones are not working on the highways, this yeah, is where they, they stay. This is where they relax. This is kind of like a cone spa. Yeah, see them in there chilling. Just chilling. Road cones in there hanging out. Yeah. I like that. I know you guys are getting dizzy. I'm trying to. Sorry. Oh, not you. Um, I'm just trying to zoom in and out. It's my favorite suite here. A lot of places they name them after different streets or mountain formations or rivers. Here yeah. It's uh, the no trespassing. No trespassing suite. suite. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've nailed the door shut. There's bodies and stuff in there allegedly. We can't prove it or nothing. And if you need pharmaceuticals, Shit, give me a screwdriver. We'll prove it. <laughs> if you need pharmaceuticals <laughs> and you don't have a, a prescription or the uh, Walgreens mm -hmm. is closed. Yes. Usually out here there's some. Uh, 
local people helping out. Oh yeah, there's some uh, uh, midnight MDs out here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the midnight MD. <laughs> Truck cab concierge. Yeah. Draft beer is three, well drinks are five, Bloody Mary is seven. I always feel like, you know, they want to save a few bucks to stay at the scrap and then they do realize where to walk. Yeah. It's, it's uh, quite an education. So. It's the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Bob Stupak Avenue. I don't care what kind of condition I was in or what kind of fitness, you know, what kind of, if, if I was freaking uh, Adonis, I wouldn't want to walk all the way down there every oh, no, time. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. This is the Las Vegas Strip, for those of you who don't know. Uh, if you've never seen the Las Vegas Strip and you want to do some history research, go watch the movie Con Air. <laughs> And there's a uh, there's a sequence in there that the plane always has the right angle when it when it's flying over and it hits the tunnel from the way it's coming in. And, and it's all that amazing now. because you get the Fremont Street experience, the Strip experience, and all the casinos on conventional <coughs> drive, all in that crash landing sequence. Yep, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you go by the same hotel three or four times and they're circling the crash. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's legit video. <laughs> you know he's the hottest. Actor in Hollywood right now. Who's that? Nicholas Cage. Oh, I see. He's made his way back, believe it or not. Really? I love Nick Cage. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he's back. He's like the Bruce Willis of 12 movies a year. Yeah. <laughs> Phone him in. If you're just joining us, I'm here with Theo Therm as we're uh, doing the strip run, strip drive, strip call. We're stripping. Yes, yeah, we're, we're stripping. Going. A little homework for your viewers. If you go to, it's called YouTube on the internet. Yes. And they type in, open a, a separate window, don't close out Mark, and type in Clarion Las Vegas Implosion. And they have to uh, watch that real quick. It's like a two minute video. Okay. Clarion Las Vegas Implosion. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. Once you watch that video, we're going to space right now, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Okay. All right. This is the one where the elevator shaft didn't come down. Ah. Uh... Yeah. A little History Channel stuff. Hello, Tammy B. Hello, Harvey Coffee. So next time we do this, we'll do it at night, and we'll hit up the White Stain slot machine, the MG Gaming, and a few other places. Too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just like picking up random YouTubers in cars. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, did your, did your uh, subs tell you that I was out walking? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's where Mark is. <laughs> as long as he puts his hand on my knee again, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> We're special buddies. Hello, fella. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> America. <laughs> no, we're not going. Uh, well, I might go to the F1 race. It's a year away, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a while away. We'll see. There. Slots of fun have not been there in years. I used to have the craps table out front. I play craps with homeless people, street yeah. people. And, and there's the there. McDonald's that's never moved. This is right from over here. This is where it was originally, right here. I'll, show, I'll prove it to you, man. I'm, I'm going to show you. you. I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, uh. <laughs> it was opposite the, the peppermint. Surprised he doesn't have the bullhorn in here. Uh, not in the Tesla, it's not my car. <laughs> I'm sure when, um, one day I'm going to be impounded. I just have yeah. a feeling. So. Hello, driving in Sturgles. Circles. Circles. <laughs> Hello, driving in circles. <laughs> <coughs> you ever, uh, you did that happen to you when, you just, when you're talking and you talk too fast and the oh, word yeah. just comes out all jacked? Oh, yeah, all the time. Still haven't eaten at this Tacos El Gordo yet. I eat at the one in Charleston. So busy uh, during the pandemic. The uh, Royal Zert has not reopened. This one, oh. uh, yeah, right there. Never reopened since pandemic. Yeah, we came down here on our very first. This is where the horn went off. We were coming back right over here. Okay. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We went down, we turned, <laughs> we turned around and came back, and I had the bullhorn, and I said, "That a fucker went off and scared the shit out of me." <laughs> I remember that. I remember. Oh, they're drilling for Earl. Yeah. Oh wow. That's cool. Drilling for something. This is the uh, Clarion grounds right here. The Clarion Hotel Casino grounds. The old Greek Isles. The Debbie Reynolds. Yeah, and didn't you used to manage this? Yeah, this yep. is my hotel. And uh, so when you if you did the homework and watched the video. You notice during the implosion, the elevator shaft did not fall down. And so what happened was the main building had a uh, HVAC unit on top that leaked for like 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. There's a whole ecosystem up there, water and lichen, bugs and all that. Yeah. So when it was time uh, to be inspected, uh, apparently the water had been flowing through the elevator shaft and they would pump it out once a week. Uh -huh. So I took over the building, uh, health department comes through, and they inspect it and they hear the water in the walls, they're gonna shut the building down. Yeah. And I said, if I fix it right away, will you give us a break and keep us open? Sure, no problem. So we went in there, we Chernobyled it. We dropped five feet of cement in every level of that elevator shaft yeah. where the yeah, housekeeping closets were. Yeah. And, uh, and then we forgot to mention it to the uh, city. So when they went to implode it, they used the city building plans. <laughs> they put the right amount of dynamite in if it didn't have five feet of cement on each floor. And uh, yeah, so if you saw the video, I did that. Coach is the reason why they couldn't bring it down right the first time. That's right. And I waited for seven years and one day to tell the story. Wow. I wanted to pass the statute of limitations. <laughs> and then I actually ran into the new owner and told him the story, and he was laughing. He thought it was funny seven mm. years later. Hello, Mike Metz. Hello, Vicarious Vegas. Hello, the Frontiersman Travel Adventures. Hello, Panjo. Thanks for coming out, guys. This was an impromptu thing. I was literally walking the art district and, uh, you know, I got a text that somebody needed a little something and, <laughs> and then I got picked up. And, and I don't know. Rita Suites, got a little casino in there. So, yeah, you go in there and gamble. Yeah, every yep. once in a while. Yep. Every once in a while. Super Chat, thank you. Appreciate it. Tilly T. Uh, search, or I'm oh, sorry. Search over, we have our new dream team. Rudy and Mer Marcy. Mark. Marcy Mark. <laughs> the door your nuts. Okay, cool. Does the say adore sweet your nuts? <laughs> adore you, your nuts. Okay, yeah. adoring your nuts. Okay. Somebody's adoring your nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm bad with punctuation. My mouth still hurts. I'll knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Indoor skydiving. You ever do that? Uh, when I was a kid. Okay. Long, long time ago. But it used to be called something else. It was called uh, yeah. Fly Away or something right, like that. Yep, yeah, exactly. Someone was whistling at us? Yeah. He's taken. Hey, you be quiet over there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, schmack. So the uh, pepper mill lost all their parking. Not that it was their parking, but when uh, Siegel bought all this stuff, they fenced it all off. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go ahead. We won't hit you. Go ahead. Go ahead. After you. Come on. Yeah, just run right into them. <laughs> It'd be funny until <laughs> the lawsuits. Yeah. I still haven't done Siegel's Bagel Mania yet either. No? Oh, uh -oh. they got the uh, pink box in there. It's pretty sweet. Good donuts. We're gonna go through here. You used to have all this you could drive through. Yeah. Oh damn. If you like twenty-two dollars and ninety-five cent pancakes, Pepper Mill's your place. Yeah, but they got good food though. Oh, it's great food. You yeah, got right. big portions. Yeah. But they got uh, um. Oh wow, they did took their whole freaking yeah, parking lot away so from them. All didn't this they? is shut down now, and so you only have this one lane. You can come around here and park back here, which is fun to get in and out of. So what are they getting ready to build in here? Uh, well, Siegel bought the land for 10 or 11 million, whatever it was. Well, you sure we can't even drive through anymore. Yeah, you can't drive through anymore. So, oh, sorry, ma'am. Twice we've almost killed somebody. Uh, that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, someone will buy it and build a hotel or put in some businesses or something here. But uh, it's definitely valuable real estate. It's where the Riviera used to be, for those of you that don't know. Yeah. The good old Riv. Used to be able to drive all around this thing. Hello, Richard Modica. Head over behind Resorts World, where the gangster used to run the strip club. 
That was really sketchy. Uh, sketchy like doesn't Buffalo help Bill. Us. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other definition? Anything back behind Circus Circus and Resorts World is sketchy. Yes. I have that yet. was from uh, Frontiersman. I have not been in Resorts World yet. Great to see you. Well, really, you haven't? I have not gone in there. Why? I, I've dropped a few people off. I picked a few people up, but I've never been in there. I just have never gone. I don't know. Mm. Maybe one of these days. Hello, Deja Vu. Hello, Jay Sanders. Oh, by the way, I'm not sick. I know you hear me coughing. That's all right. I went through it last week. and I am. Oh, he's I'm sick. Yeah. Now we're good. I just got that residual garbage. Oh, yeah. Long hauling. Yep. You're just joining us. We're hanging out with Mark, the other me. Who was the original me? We killed him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Allegedly. We put him down a long time long ago. Time ago. <laughs> this is where that McDonald's used to be, right over here. <laughs> Freaking smart ass. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Because the rib was right here. And I used to yeah. jump across and go right around my bike over, across. Exactly. Uh huh. And yeah. it, it was yeah. right there. No, it was right over here. It was always right next it, to Slots of Fun. They moved it down. It's called the Million Dollar McDonald's because they paid a million dollars to relocate it to make room for Echelon. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to argue about this till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you the city plans. I, know I don't care about city plans. I got pictures. I got to <laughs> pick them out. <laughs> you watch Con Air. Yeah. <laughs> me and my friends, uh, a friend of mine rode his bike in Splash. Yeah. And I'd come down and hang out with him. And it would, there's a bunch of us. We were all freestylers on, on, on our bikes. Yeah. And um, he'd come out and we'd all ride up and down the strip and do tricks. And we'd always stop in the McDonald's. I don't know if you remember back in the 80s, the whole front of it was a parking lot. And uh, that's where we do our tricks, was right in front of the McDonald's. We ride our bikes right there. Put on a little stunt show. The good old days. Mm -hmm. You might get a little buffering back here. Sometimes I buffer, sometimes I don't. Hello, Walt and Tina, by the way. I know I said hello, Frontiersman Travel Channel, but i can call you out by your name. Just, just don't call me by my, you know, given name, dickhead. You know, just <laughs> Stop, I'm sorry. I make you nauseous, I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're I'm sorry. fine. Gotta drive. <laughs> this is Sammy Davis Drive. Sammy Davis Jr. Drive. And uh, was there like a strip club or something back here? Is that what they're saying? Uh, well, there's, yeah. <laughs> what time is it? Is it time to get you back? Uh, it's 2.30. We still got a half hour. Okay. I just wanted to see what time it was. Yeah. Um, the all-nude one was back there, but it's back that way. I yeah, think. okay. The building's not new. The people mm. are. We've got the uh, National Guard right here. Is it a museum or not? Yeah. yeah. Battlefield Vegas. Have you ever bought the nine dollar room and stayed here at the manor when it was over? No. I, oh, um, my brother used to. He was the bell captain for the tower. Oh, okay. For he was a. He started out as a bellman, obviously, or a bellboy, whatever the hell they were. He worked yeah. there for thirty years. In circus, circus, and they worked. We went back to the tower. I forgot what the tower is called. But the manor, I don't remember if he had anything to do with that. But no, did you stay in the nine dollar room at the manor? Yeah, we we booked a few times to come up here with all the kids and all that. How was it? Uh, really, really what you'd expect for a $9 room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like going for blood treatments every once in a while. Oh, not, not related to that. Allegedly. Yeah. Totally unrelated. Get a fucking tetanus shot after you <laughs> stay there. <laughs> Crazy Horse 3, 2, mm -hmm. two 3. The one that's burned nine times. Yeah, they're supposed to be tearing it down. It's there it still sits. Yeah. People bitching, it's burned now, this three times, it's got to be torn down. And so they had this big meeting, we're going to tear it down now. It's a hazard, somebody's going to get hurt. Look, it's still there. It's still there. So the other day I'm driving down this road and I see cops chasing a guy across the street. We watched for like an hour as he took down the whole thing. So really? We never figured out what it was, but there was a white van like you'd see near a schoolyard selling drugs. Allegedly. So what are they building here in Circus now? Uh, this is actually a concert grounds. And so they're either putting oh, up or taking down the concert stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got you. So cool. this is where they had the, uh, when we were young, festival. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's much more stable than the previous stage. The Mint. Look at that. Have you ever been in there? 
No. I have never been there either. That's one of those places I want to go and just haven't done it. Is that, I mean, is that paying homage to the actual mint? I think Does so. I wonder if the family that owned the mint owned that little bar? I just find there's a lot of things here that I don't want to do by myself for safety. Well, you gotta just call me and say, hey, let's go yeah. do this. We'll, 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 we'll uh -huh. sketch it out and do a whole schedule of events. Yeah. So. Then uh, my folks didn't enjoy going to the salad bar at the Green Door. <laughs> the green door. What's behind the green door? This was Foxy's Firehouse in the 80s. Right here on the corner. Oh, yeah? Yep. I had to go there and get a prescription the other day. You have to park in the back back there by the drug people. This is, uh, this is Mark right here. Right here. The other me. And hey, Maddie C., how you doing? Having fun hanging out here in the, uh, the Tesla, doing the Tesla thing. So. Uh, oh, there, there it is. Okay. Howdy, y'all. You guys all know Coach from Cash or Crash. He's the Private Eye channel right now. Las Vegas Private Eye. Las Vegas Private Eye. Yeah. Yep. And uh, just having fun. As I saw him stand on the street. I thought he was actually working the street corner, so. Yeah. I was it was awkward, and then it turned out I was him. I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to give you a ride. That's what I was stopping for. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a snake. The thing dislodges. It's great. <laughs> Fold back front teeth, dripless top lip. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's totally wrong. Hashtag <laughs> hooker. <laughs> fucking nightmare tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Scott Longwoods? Oh, mm. man. The Versa bucket. I like that green truck over there. Sweet. Private Eye always investigating. Yes, we are. Hashtag Uber for hookers. There you go. The Rainbow Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever taken the monorail? Nope, I haven't done that either. I was really? gonna do, yeah, I, I haven't done it just yet. me. I've never done that. Nope, I've never done it. They're supposed to tear it down. Excuse me. <clears throat> because the inspectors went out and said, these, if you drive by some of these, they're all cracked and coming oh, yeah. apart. Yeah. And so somebody said, no, don't tear it down. Here's a little something for you. Yeah. Let's just run it till the thing crashes into the ground. It's never made mm -hmm. money as far as I know. No, uh-uh. Yeah. But these stanchions are all cracked and falling apart. I mean, are breaking yeah. apart. It's terrible. It's scary. Bunch of jobs though, yeah. so you gotta keep them. I guess. Yeah. You ever gamble at the Eureka? The Eureka? No. I've seen you gamble a lot of spots, but I don't know if this, this is one of the spots you gamble. I've been here a few times. There's really no signal inside, so I have to do uh, videos when I go in there. But it's oh, another gotcha. dive area that's decent, but they have uh, good security there because of they need good security there. Oh, right on. Yeah. Well, this is Vicky's Diners right here. Yep. Have you eaten there yet? I have not eaten there yet. Oh, you got to check it out. I've driven oh. by many times. The Entourage Men's Spa is right there. The Entourage Men's Spa. Men's Spa. Yes. Hello, Janet Joyner. Thanks for coming in today the weird thing about gimbals is when you drive in a car with a gimbal it starts to like try to I'll guess you yeah it <laughs> it gets all whoppy jogging all out of so you get American costume right here yes and uh, it's for rent because I really unless the other side still has oh it does because I, I need to get a couple costumes I for whatever reason I started dressing up in costumes oh well, you don't have to get them there no, no, I gotta find another place in Charleston and uh, Valley View. It's where I got my Elvis wig. It's got every freaking yeah. costume in the world in there. So this is the world famous green door. The green door. And yeah. I sent them an email and asked them if they would allow me to come in and when they're when they're closed, of course, or when they're not yeah. in business hours, of Just course. Just kind of show it off. Yeah, and, and do a video, but they have never answered me back, so I'm gonna have to try that again. So people but that's say that's Hawks Gym, that's a male. Yeah, it's only gym. Spa. Yeah. People say, how do you know if it's a classy, fun, safe, clean place to go? And I say there's one touch that I have, and that's, is there, <coughs> is there a random plant sculpture in front of it? Okay. And if there's a random plant sculpture, then you know it's a, it's a great place. Oh, right over here. 
There is. Just random plant There's sculpture. There's a random plant sculpture right in front of so, the green door. So I feel much more comfortable in recommending the place. Just, come on. <clears throat> that is too funny. Mm. <laughs> and then, of course, another part of the loon tour that we always do. You got to run up and down Karen <coughs> Avenue. Karen Avenue is right over here. It's where all Karens in America start. Why do I buffer back here? But I do. Looks different during the day, Coach. Oh, looks <laughs> different during the day. Oh yeah. Uh, those videos I've done here at the Square Bar with Joe and everything are all done right over there in those buildings right there. That's New Orleans Square. We got some interesting uh, <coughs> uh, places in there. Oh yeah, plus that Mexican restaurant over there has the, that uh, gigantic sombrero with all the tacos in it. Yep. And they have the all-you-can-eat taco special on Taco Tuesdays over there. You got the reflexology place in here where they, uh, they touch your junk and it reflexes. <laughs> so, so in the all-you-can-eat tacos, they can be like two or three at a time. And if you order tacos and can't eat them all, they're going to charge you for it. So Really? Yeah, you better eat them all. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been, uh, there's, there was a gaming instructional school up this here. Square Bar. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was back like 10 years ago. This is Karen Avenue. Every once in a while. Tilly T, Car Fire Flamingo Bridge, traffic buildup reported in chat. Thank you. Oh, right on. $5, five pound super chat. Okay, 10 and 2, Mark. 10 and 2, got a cop over here. Mark, okay. 10 and 2 on your I'm gimbal. 10 and 2 on my gimbal. I'm, I'm a gimbal. Oh, turn on NPR. <laughs> Full and complete stop. Proceed with caution. Carry on, officer. Great job. <laughs> All right, let's go. And he steps on it. <laughs> Zero to 35. Yeah. Hello, Jay Pappy. Hello, Jim Wolf. Code 4. Code 4. Code 4. <laughs> Hashtag NPR. <laughs> No Karens are out today. Sometimes they're here at night, and I don't think they really want to talk. No, uh-uh. <laughs> the Karens I see out here, named, they got different names, though, like Sparkle and Sunshine. and Tiffany. And yeah, yeah, they're... Diamonds. They're very friendly. They are very yeah. friendly for a uh, feet. Yes. Is a car fire on the freeway? That'd be horrible on a Saturday. Yeah, oh it would. Oh, my gosh. Hello, talk, code yellow. Hello, Gambling Granny. How are you? Great to see you. Gambling Granny. Granny Fest. Making copies. What's going on? <laughs> the car's got a mind of its own. Too funny. Hello, Tony Two Crow. I like the one arch here. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Just one arch. So the old Chinese massage restaurant over here, the Burn. Yeah. Uh, this is eventually supposed to be coming down here really soon. That was a landmark for the longest time. But a lot of oh, guys doing push-ups over there. Sweet. There it is. It's a fitness center and a burned out building. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's uh, used to get some really good service back there. All this is supposed to be cleaned off and then rebuilt. I uh, got the new Atomic Golf going in over here, like a Top Golf. Oh, right on. Uh, but that's uh, they've already started digging that out, and then there's some new office buildings going in. All kinds of redevelopment down here. Yeah, so, they're gonna. They, it, it, I mean, I'll be dead and gone, but this will all be redone. Oh yeah. And be, it's a lot more aggressive now that uh, a lot of things have opened here, and there's yeah. been some proof that you can actually make some money here. Just park anywhere, sir. Ugh, straight now, damn it. Hello, plumbing by JC. Got the big girls here. Everybody loves a big girl. Complaining Karen time is in the room. Hello, Raymond. See the construction going on here? This is the new Atomic Golf going in. Oh, so this is going to be like Top Golf, but right. it's going to be called Atomic Golf. Right. Right over here behind that big, tall, tower, weird looking thing that we just passed. Yeah. The one with all the shade. Yeah. <laughs> These guys won't sell because they wanted to build a whole huge deal here, but the pawn shop wants to stay. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a giant corporation, so. They're making money. Pawn, uh, whatever, easy pawn or whatever. Pawns and drugs. Yep. All right. How much time we got left? Uh, we should probably head over there. Okay. Yeah, I only got 15 minutes left. Change your menu! 
<laughs> All right, where'd you like to go to, sir? Uh, left lane. Left lane. It's the new parking lot. Okay. Where the art is, you can just okay. turn left and turn right in, like where the alley is, and okay. then. Oh, you're taking me to an alley? Yeah. Turn oh, left no, no, in the no, no. Imperial. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> oh, you didn't kills. think this ride was over yet, did you, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Keep my twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> It's been fun, man. It was a blast. Yeah, I mean, the little property thing was great. If I go into this alley, would that get us there? Hello, Lenny Vader. Yeah, you turn here. All right. That's why I went and turn left and then and turn right, right and then. That's where we see the hooker. Yes. Or the, where? I'm sorry, the I mean, Instagram girl. That, yep. Uh, Real Brooke underscore <laughs> J. Real underscore Brooke J. All I know is that she had a whip and uh, used it. Mm hmm. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Usually you would smack me in the kidney, but okay. <laughs> yep, and then boom, here we you go. just go right around that thing and oh, fantastic. Here we go. I'm, right, I'm right over there in the corner. Oh, you're okay, yeah. right here. Okay, very yep. cool. This parking lot's new. They just finished it. It used to be all just fenced in. Very nice. Ah, Mustang Sandy, good to have you here. Thank you all for being here. Uh, this is uh, the other me. This is Mark. Check out his channel. If you, I mean, every one of you came over here from there. But uh, thank you so much for being the ride along, man. Yeah, dude, that was a blast. Good times. We'll do it again. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, make sure you check out Cash or Crash Live, uh, Las Vegas Private, or uh, Las Vegas Private Eye. What's the other ones? Uh, there's Zeus's Kitchen. Zeus's Kitchen, which I have to go check out, and the the bull thing. Oh yeah, T Bone Stories. T Bone Stories. Richard Tucker, Las Vegas Cowboy. I'm 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 on Richard Tucker, Las Vegas. And there's Las Vegas Undercover Cowboy. Oh, That's right. Well, there's a whole list somewhere. Braun, <laughs> Braun's got it. <laughs> Braun is keeper of the list. So anyway, Good times. You guys, I had a blast today doing this, but I do have to cut out. Um, my parking time is coming up. Busy guy. It was a blast, man. Right, it man. really was. Always a pleasure. I'm gonna be live streaming tomorrow morning and during Fremont Street. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Cash is coming in at some point this evening. I'll see what our plans are and uh, possibly, but don't forget your pocket pickle. But, oh yeah. Guess of the Tesla ride along. Get a pocket get pickle. A, get a pocket pickle. This is supposed. To, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the vinegar will take away the sting and the smell. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for being in the live stream today. Yes. I know it was uh, just a little quick one for uh, Saturday. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Love you all. Uber see for you tomorrow. Hooker. Uber for hooker. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to sign off as well. You want to help me with sign off? Let's do a cool yeah. sign off.